Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Patrice, the Patrice Denise, and I'm over here living a healthy, sustainable life one day at a time, one step at a time. So glad you joined me for another one of my videos. Today I'm making broccoli salad. I'm not sure like what's the actual real name, but it's a broccoli salad to me. So I decided to bring you guys along with me. I said in my video that I posted the other day that I would be making this salad because I, I like this salad and I get it from the store sometimes, but um, I was scrolling on, I think it was Instagram or something, and I saw, maybe Facebook, and I saw a picture or a recipe of it. So I took the picture or the screenshot, and here it is. Can y'all see? I'm not sure. If not, I will put it up here so you can see all the ingredients um, that's in it. I am adding one more ingredient. I'm gonna add dried cranberries because the one that I tasted before, it has cranberries in it or something like a sweetness to it so I'm just gonna add that to it and then I don't have a whole pound of bacon what I got is a couple bags of bacon bits so that's what I'm gonna be using the rest of this and this and some of these <laughs> so that's gonna be my pound of bacon but it's real easy it looks like I already got the broccoli cut up so we're just going to put it all together my husband he already um, I'm not sure if you already saw it, if I put it at the beginning or I'll show it in a second here, but he went ahead and grilled the chicken. It's mesquite chicken, he says. Um, remember in the video the other day, I said it out loud um, that I wanted some chicken wings with this broccoli. And so he um, put that on the grill. And so I'm, I'm going to get into that in a second with this, but let's get into this broccoli salad. Oh, sorry, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are not new and thank you for joining me again. I'm sipping on my jalapeno um, lemonade. I made this in the video the other day too and it's been marinated for a little while and, and you can taste the jalapenos now. You could taste it then but you can really taste it now. All right, the broccoli salad. Let me put y'all down here. All right, so I got everything here. I'm just gonna put it all together. So I cut up the broccoli. This is like a crown, maybe two crowns of broccoli. And I cut it off the stem and kind of put it, um, made sure it was chopped up real good. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put it all in here. A half of a red onion. And it says, I'm just gonna put all the bacon bits in there. So you're probably supposed to like cook some bacon and chop it up, but look, look how easy that was just to put the bacon bits in there. Don't gotta do all that. A nice low carb kind of salad here. Put the rest of these bacon bits. <laughs> and the rest of these, because it says a whole pound. I wanna, in a second, I wanna talk to you guys about um, what I read this morning in my Bible reading. And it goes along with our theme for 2024, not to not give up. So I wanna talk to you guys about that too, because I was like very, it was right on time. God works in mysterious ways. He gives us confirmation, he gives us words. And um, he gives us what we need, right when we need it. So I won't get into that too in a second here, but here is that with the bacon bits. I'm just gonna add cheese. And there was two cups of cheese. This might be more than two cups, but I like cheese. And that's just mild sharp cheddar. All right, so for the dressing, it says three fourths cup of mayo. I'm just gonna put the mayonnaise in this measuring cup. And I am using Duke's Real Mayonnaise. In this picture, they have the olive oil mayonnaise. Um, looks like by Kraft, but this is the mayo. All right. Let 
And then it says a uh, half of a cup of sour cream. Okay, so that goes in there. Hmm, then it says one fourth cup of stevia, but all I have are these. So here's a fourth of a cup. So I might need more than this. Let me see. This is one, two, three, four, five packets. Let's see. Okay, so I need some more. All right, so let me try another five. One, two, two, four, five. All right, this is gonna be all. I'm just gonna do just 10, 14 packets. All right, so this is gonna be the, in place of the stevia. All right, and it says a tablespoon of salt. I'm not even gonna measure that. And some apple cider vinegar. So I got the great value kind, and it says one teaspoon. And that was a teaspoon of salt, not a tablespoon. So it said one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. All right. Mix it up, mix it up. Now, I might need more because I might need to do this twice because this seems like a lot. I think this is more than a pound of um, broccoli, but we're just going to mix it in and see. coating it real good so just call me Betty Crocker haha <laughs> because I am over here cooking well this is not really cooking this is just mixing but I am in the kitchen to so call me Betty Crocker all right, so this is how it would be um, just by the recipe that was provided, but I'm going to add the cranberries, but let me taste it first like this. Okay, make sure I got the onions and the bacon and everything on there. Yo. Go ahead and call me Betty Crocker. Nobody else is going to eat this but me. I'm going to see if my niece wants to try it. And my sister, but the people in my immediate household here are not going to eat this. But I am. This is going to be my... This is going to be the base of my meals for the rest of this week. This is good. All right. Oh, I can take these to like functions and things like that. I can, you know, say, oh, I'll bring the broccoli salad. All right, let me add the cranberries. If any of my girlfriends are watching, this is what y'all gonna get at the next function. <laughs> All right, oops, I should've showed y'all, but I'm adding the cranberries. Give it some more speed. But that stevia, you can definitely taste the stevia. Well, not taste the stevia or whatever that sugar substitute is. You can definitely taste it and it gave, gave it a little sweetness. But I like to add the cranberry. When the ones I tasted before in the in the store, it had cranberries. Like in the uh, deli section of the store. 
So, yep, this is the finished product. So, I'm going to plate this and get a piece of chicken. And then let's talk about my Bible study that I had this morning. Okay, here is my plate. So, I got my chicken, my chicken, and my broccoli salad. This is a chicken my husband made. He said it's mystique chicken. I got like some kind of rub on there. Y'all see that? Okay, there it goes. In the salad, and the salad's good. So another thing you can add to this is um, some type of nuts, like almonds maybe, or walnuts, to give it um, some more texture and crunch. But to me, it's good just like it is. And my niece is over there, she's eating some. And she says it's good. <laughs> but before you go, before you go, I want to show you what I read this morning. So I read in the Bible app every morning, um, either when I'm on my treadmill or if I don't work out that morning, I just read it just by itself. But, and I'm pretty sure this is the same for everybody every day. So I'm pretty sure we all get the same message, but so it's in the Bible app. It's the, the Bible, you know, the Bible app right, right here. I'll show you the Bible app right there. So Today's verse was Luke, the 18th chapter in the first verse. And this is coming from New King, King James Version. And it says, Then he spoke a parable to them that men, ought, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. And another version says, Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them they should always pray and not give up. So that goes with our theme for 2024, do not give up. So there might be something that you are praying for. It might be something that you are working towards. It might be something that you are uh, just asking God for. And see the very first words in, the, in their little wrap up says, do not give up. Pray persistently, continue to pray, continue to talk to God about it, continue to, um, work on it it says um it's, it may not be easy and you may get weary in your doing and you may get discouraged you may be tired but guess what do not give up because there is always a, a period of time well, not always but sometimes there's a period of waiting for things that we're asking for for god it might and, and it continue on to talk about that and it said it might be days weeks months years or even a lifetime to get those things that we were praying for, we we're asking for, or we we're, um, you know, talking with God about, but we should not give up, okay? I wanted to hit y'all with that and give y'all that because it really touched me. It says, don't give up, talk. It says that he's saying, God is saying, don't give up talking to me about this. So the long, long race, the long, long wait, whatever it may be, don't give up. So that goes on our theme for 2024, that we're not giving up. So I hope that you enjoyed hanging with me to make this quick and easy salad, this chicken, my husband made it, and it's something that is low carb, no, really low carb, I think the cranberries is the only thing that has some type of carbs in it. I don't think broccoli, I would have to look it up. I'm not sure if broccoli has carbs, but it's a low carb, low carb. So it's a nice meal that you can have um, if you're on a low carb diet. I'm not on a low carb diet, but I was feeling like this salad. And I also wanted just to pop in here and tell y'all, don't give up. Keep going. You got this. Until the next video, I love you guys and God bless.